So Rockbusters, um, we, you know, it's a little clue, some initials, three different clues. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, you can win the, the load of stuff that we've got. So, um, first one, um, here's the clue. Stop throwing that fruit about. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. And what's the initial? That's C B. C B. C B. Stop throwing that fruit about. Yeah. Right. Is Anders listening? Has he emailed us in yet? Anders, not had, a, not had any response from Anders. I'll keep uh, keeping. Maybe he hasn't stopped listening. Because right. he doesn't like the show. He's gone off. I hope he hasn't gone off the show. <laughs> so, so uh, the second one, um, that Scottish fella has made an error. That Scottish fella has made an error. Yeah, that's interesting. That's M. M. Right, right. that Scottish fella has made an error. Right. Okay. And uh, the last one, uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with them. <laughs> you can make a right load of toast with them. Yeah. All right. What's the name of that's, that's G. G. I was thinking it might be bread for a minute, but no. Uh -huh. G. So, uh, so just very quickly, stop throwing that fruit about. C D. <laughs> I've got, I've got the last one. All right. Scottish fella. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't count. Doesn't count. Well, that Scottish fella has made an error. That's M. And uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with M. That's G. Email in Ricky Gervais at XM. Um, first one was stop throwing that fruit about. Stop throwing that fruit about. The that answer was is C B. That was Chuck Berry. <laughs> 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 of course it was. Okay. All yeah, right. I'll give you that. Um, the one that you've worked out, I'll do next. The yeah. uh, God, you make a load of toast with them. That Grillers. was G. Gorillas. Gorillas, though, isn't it? Gorillas. Um, and the middle one <laughs> was that Scottish fellas made an error. That was Mystique. <laughs> <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> so. Oh, did anyone get that? Extraordinarily, almost all the people who emailed in and I'm really, I'm going right. to think it's us then. It's because uh, I, I was thinking mistake, I was thinking muck error yeah. and muck mistake and, but Mystique. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, do you want to pick a winner? Yeah. Moment, we've got Rockbusters. Okay. okay. So, uh, these are mine. Um, number one. You've been dunking that for too long. That's L B. You've right, been so dunking that for too long. Oh god, that's too easy. That's yeah, too I easy. I always tease them, don't I? I give them something to make them feel like they're gonna win something, and then I, I hit them hard with a tricky one. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, go on. So the first one. So that's the cryptic clue for a band or an artist. Their initials are L B, and yeah. the cryptic clue. You've been dunking that for too long. Yeah. So that's the first one. Second one. Uh, you won't be able to play that game in this pub because the table ain't big enough. Right? <laughs> could be an old artist, could be a new one, could be a band. What's the initials? Uh, F D. Alright? F D. You won't be able to play that game in this pub. The table ain't big enough. And the final one, uh, well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's over. Right? Yeah. That's that's the third cryptic clue, the initials being G K. Right? Yeah. Well I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's over. They're the three clues. All you gotta do is email in Ricky <laughs> That's great. That's genius. Which one? The last one. All right. That yeah, is genius. Any, That's the anything. best one you've ever done. All right. Uh, Ricky <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, I don't know the middle one. At UK. Okay. Email in them three answers. You win the stuff. Well, you uh, better give us the answers. Let's again. give them out. Uh, the first <laughs> one was um, you've been dunking that for too long. That yeah. was LB. Uh, Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit. Yeah, got that one, isn't it? Uh, the third one, we'll jump to that one because you've got it. Uh, well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's all over. That was GK. That's a great one. That's Glad, glad it's night. Glad, glad it's night. Glad it's night. That's glad that it's is night. brilliant. Oh. And the one that uh, you're both having a problem with, uh, you won't be able to play that game in this pub. The table ain't big enough. FD. Go on. Fats Domino. Yeah? What? The Dominoes. You play Dominoes in a pub. The, the Domino's fat. Pub tables are quite small. You won't be able to play that game in this pub. Fats Domino. Rubbish. <laughs> so, do you want to pick a winner? Random rubbish. Winner? Well, winner. you say it's rubbish, but plenty of people got the right answer. Rubbish. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not after last week, no. Um, <laughs> right, okay, so if you haven't heard it before, I'll give you some initials. It work, you know, it's like initials of an artist or of a it's band. It's and, and a cryptic clue to who the band is. There's two easy ones, one difficult one. <laughs> uh, first one is, um, That'll never get off the ground. Right. Yeah. That'll never get off the ground. The That'll initial? never get off the ground is the clue. Not LZ. The initials are LZ. You are joking. Two easy ones. Right. Yeah? Okay. Right, and then 
you've got, um, that woman's got her husband's gloves and a pair of her own. <laughs> right? Say it again. That woman has got a pair of her husband's gloves and she's got a pair of her own. That's H H, right? It's a bit of a difficult one. And then the uh, the last one, you'll get a l uh, you'll get a right load of bacon off them, right? You'll get what? A right load of bacon off them. Uh huh. Um, that's L. L. Yeah. So uh, once you'll again, get a very right quickly, load of bacon off of them. You'll get you'll get a right load of bacon off them. Uh -huh. So first one that'll never get off the ground. L Z. Uh, that woman has got her husband's gloves and she's got a pair of her own. That's <laughs> H H. Brilliant. And uh, you'll get a right load of bacon off them. That's L. And so, it's an email only. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we've got uh, <laughs> the first clue. <laughs> You're upset, so Carl. miserable. I, I'm a bit fed up today. The weather's. I knew when I was walking in today, though. That. I'd be but that him. video. There's lots of there's lots of weather on that video, so they can whoever wins this can go home and see sort of the weather you were talking about. <laughs> uh, the first one was that'll never get off the ground. Uh, L Z. Yeah. The answer there was Led Zeppelin. So easy. Um, yeah, but I said that's here. There's always two easy ones and a difficult one. Go on. The third one was you'll get a load of bacon off them. Go on. That was L. Uh, long pigs. Right. Yeah. And then the second one was, uh, that woman's got her husband's gloves and a pair of her own. Yeah. H.H. Yeah. Yeah. That was Ermin's Ermits. <laughs> 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 so that's that's a three that's a three answers. I'm sure well, I'd like to give the prize this week to Sermans Hermits. What? There's a lot of Sermans Hermits. That is genius, Carl. That is genius. Oh, Sermans Hermits. So, There's so many people who are worthy of the um of the prizes, obviously. Hermits. Right, are we uh we're doing it now? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I noticed Heat magazine sort of put a bit of a spanner in the works. Why? Because they were saying, oh, maybe it'll be a Christmas edition of Rockbusters. And I'd already sorted them out. I wouldn't worry, Carl. Well, what I've done, I've cleverly tweaked them to make them Christmassy. Oh, so the Christmas bit in it has got nothing to do with with it whatsoever, but I just thought... <laughs> so you mean yeah. the clues have a Christmas element? Well, yeah. But, 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 but it's nothing to do with the answer. Nothing, yeah, it's nothing to do with the answer. Right. So why don't you just ask the normal ones and I'll, I'll ring a bell, I'll yeah. shake some bell. Well, I'll go it's ho, the equivalent of that, but in sort of speech. Right. Brilliant. So the first oh. one, um, there's a load of letters, uh, there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and, uh, have a good Christmas. <laughs> 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 ah! Oh! No, give it, give it to us again. <laughs> oh God! Right, so there's a load of letters asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and have a good Christmas. Right. right. Bear in mind, people, that the Christmas element may not be relevant no, to these. No, I've got nothing to do with it. I don't want to. Okay. You know. And the initial letter is F. Right. That's F. All right. Right. Next the second one. one. <laughs> uh, ask your mum if you should. After you've wrapped the presents. <laughs> right, so ask, ask your mum if you should. Ask your mum if you should after you've wrapped the presents. That's, um, that's S. 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 All right. All right. Okay. And the last one, um, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter, but it's busy in there because it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably what brought it on. So oh. that's, that's B. Right? Oh. B. B. Oh God. So they're the they're the three. Will I just uh, recap? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, I, I so, have no idea. So I can't even. One. I don't know what to start thinking. I, well. All right. There's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Have a good Christmas. Uh, have a good Christmas. <laughs> uh, second one. Ask your mum if you should. After you write the present. S. And the last one, a couple of people were arguing arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. But it's busy in there because it's, it's Christmas. It's busy it's Christmas. That's a B. Yeah. So they're the three things. <laughs> right, here's the last clues of the year. You had, uh, there's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Go that on, was no F. Idea. That was for Foreigner. For Rainer. I don't know what you mean. Claire Rayner, she took advice, she gave people advice. So that's a foreigner. I that is shit. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. That <laughs> might be Christmas, that is absolute dark. A lot of people got the right answer. I know, yeah, well that annoys right, me well. even more. Number the two. second one, ask your mum. Foreigner. Yeah. Foreigner. Um, second one, ask your mum if you should. That was S. That was Shalimar. 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 Right? No, bizarrely, what was the clue there? 
Ask your mum if you should. No, we got a lot of people saying smashing pumpkins. There's the answer to that. <laughs> well, I don't know who's saying that today, mum. Smashing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mum. Smashing Thanks pumpkins. very much. Nice bollocks. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> great. That's great. Right. Smashing pumpkins. <laughs> Your dad bought them for me for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Ah. And the last one. Um, <laughs> Lovely plums. <laughs> <laughs> what my Victorians? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> We've got to wrap uh, it up, we've got to wrap it up. Come on then. Uh, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. <laughs> that was B, that was banana drama. They were like, having an argument. What do you mean banana drama? drama? <laughs> what, no, wait, 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 wait. What group is banana drama? What group is banana drama? So. You're a fool. You're a twat. <laughs> when you say that, but you accuse her, you accuse Carl of that. You're also accusing lots of the listeners, including the winner, yeah. Nicola Rogers, uh, of London. And she wins those great prizes and she got them bang on, so. Banana so drama. Well, so, can we finish there now? Yeah. yeah what do you mean, what do you mean, can we finish there now? Just, just play the ads and go. What? Uh, Rockbusters. Rockbusters, uh, first one of the year. Um, Do you want to explain it? In case we've yeah, got some new listeners. Some new listeners. Like might have. It. Might have. You like never it. know. Like Chance to win some stuff. Um, I'll give you like a cryptic clue and some initials and it sort of makes up a band. So, an easy one that we did at the start was uh, an exploding pet, AK Atomic Kitten. Yeah. Right, that's how it works. So, there's three of them. Um, it's email only. You email in ricky.juvace at xfn.co.uk. And uh, you win all that stuff Steve was talking about. Right, first one, uh, £42 for a torch. <laughs> £42 for a torch, that's a bit pricey. Uh, that's D. Right? That's D. Yeah, so Just give us a, give write us that down. So £42 for a torch, that, that's a bit pricey, isn't it? Right? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of enhancement. <laughs> yeah. Digging up his growth. Oh, God. Okay, that's, that's D. D. Uh, the second one, um, he'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Say that again? He'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Is that he will fit some chocolate to your feet? He'll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll fit some chocolate to your feet. And the initial there is A. That's A. Yeah, and uh, the third and final one. Uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? <laughs> do you right. think- say it again? Do you think, uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? That's <laughs> WP. Right, now I'd better warn people. Um, you really gotta get into the mindset of Carl here. These are not real cryptic clues. These are not cryptic clues that you do in the Guardian or the, the Times crossword. Um, there's usually something wrong with them. Uh, it is usually, um, uh, what's the word? Um, completely change the word in order to make it fit. Yes. Often. <laughs> yeah. Um, so just be careful. Don't be surprised. Exactly. Okay. Um, do you want to give us a, them again very quickly? All right. Uh, first one, 42 quid for a torch. That's, that's a bit pricey, isn't it? All right, that's <laughs> D. Uh, second one, it'll fit some chocolate to your feet. I can't think of any. I can't a, think. That's A. a. And, uh, do you think, uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? WP. Right, so, uh, Ricky Dot Gervais at xfm.co.uk. Uh, right, uh, here we go. Then the first one, uh, £42 for a torch. That's a bit pricey. Go on. That was D. Yeah. That was Daylight. Wait, I thought Delight, and I thought um, it doesn't work. One. It doesn't work. I also thought Delight doesn't work. Second one. There's no um, one, no one, wait, wait, wait. Dear Light, it doesn't work. It's Delight. Second one was. No, no, Carl, it doesn't work. Yeah, but if we're going to continue with this feature, you've got to tweak them a bit. Right? People have got it, we've had loads of emails, more than ever. So, do you know what I mean? Let them decide. Mm. If they don't like it, they won't email in, but they lo they're loving it. They've right? all come from the same institution. Um, <laughs> right, go on. He'll fit some chocolate to your feet, that was A, that was Aerosmith. Right? Aerosmith. You've yeah. heard of a blacksmith? But a smith is just yeah. a workman, it doesn't um, necessarily- No, no, you can have anything, you can have a locksmith. You... A smith doesn't just mean it does shoes. Right, do you think- you... Aero Cobbler oh. would have worked. Unfortunately, there isn't a band called Aero Cobbler. Get ready, get ready with a winner. Um, do you think your kid will, uh, get that strawberry for me? That's Wilson Pickett. Rockbusters. <laughs> <laughs> it's a structured show, it's a new leaf. This show, in the new year, is gonna be structured. Set pieces, um, hitting our marks, do you know what I mean? There'll be time checks, uh, uh, weather checks, <laughs> a bit cold out. Um, if you, if you, if you're driving, careful on that. <laughs> so, do the prizes. Watch check for traffic, like, yeah, if it's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, again, an arbitrary selection of, uh, goodies. What are those politicians doing? <laughs> Was that XFM News? Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> right, what have we got? So we've got, uh, for those that are a fan of the movie Donnie Darko, which a lot of people rave about this year, a sort of weird teenage movie, then uh, there's a sort of uh, sweatshirt there. It is actually quite nice. It's not bad at all. It's, uh, it's medium, so if, you, if you're a bit of a bloater, yeah. don't bother to apply unless you've got a friend already. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we've also got here um, a Graham Norton video. Certificate 18. All this. <laughs> so, it, please don't phone up unless, or d sorry, don't email in unless you're above the age of 18. Yeah. Um, and that's, I think, the best of his TV show. Yeah. Look forward to that. It's um, a big stiff video, that, isn't it? It's a big <laughs> stiff <laughs> cock of a video. <laughs> Thanks oh, very much. I meant you the... Can't say, yeah, yeah, you meant the bird. Yeah. Um, there's also a fairly mediocre British wartime thriller, Enigma, um, which a lot of people, it was hyped for a while, but it's actually interminable, I've seen it. <laughs> um, the, uh, first series here of The Kumars at number 42 on DVD, uh, I think that's award winning, so, uh, that's available as well. We've got two CDs by the look of it. We've got, uh, Pulp's Greatest Hits, which I don't think sold very well. And so presumably they are giving that away. <laughs> and Johnny Cash's um, current uh, album, uh, American For The Man Comes Around, there's some good cover versions there. Again, another big sell. A big yeah. sell. We're really pushing um, this. But it, it, yeah, it's a quite kooky. Uh, Johnny Cash here does covers of things including Personal Jesus oh, right. by Depeche Mode. Right, yeah. uh, we've got Bridge Over Troubled Water, his version of that. <laughs> Desperado. <laughs> And, uh, anyway, it's, it's not bad, that's probably the best treat in that bunch. And, right. Uh, I'm assuming there's some questions there, Carlo. Yeah, yeah. Right, here we uh, go. If you're a new listener, the way it works, I'll give you a cryptic clue, and some wow. initials, and it sort of makes up a band. Yeah. Um, makes more sense when you hear it, I reckon. Not particularly. Well, not really. Although so, people do get it, I yeah. just worry about the, the state of our listeners. <laughs> go on. Right, so there's three of them, you email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. It's email only, I email repeat, only. it is email only. We, we have too lazy <laughs> to answer the phone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. here we go then, number one. Um, there's, there's normally two easy ones and a difficult one. Sure. So here we go. Uh, number one, don't argue with him, he ain't gonna change his mind. Don't argue with him, he ain't gonna change his mind. Yeah, that's AA. AA. That's, yeah. So Just that's the first one. He's not going to change his mind. Um... What do you mean, um? You just, just, just got them written out, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just thinking about what the answer is, so I didn't write the answer down to Oh, one. for... God. Don't <laughs> worry, they get it. Uh, yeah, don't well, worry. Um... But you, yeah. well, you can't remember it? You came up with it, there's only three. I know, I know, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not weird, it's incompetent. <laughs> right, the second one, anyway, <laughs> I, I hope you get this. Um... <laughs> I hope you get this. <laughs> Email in and tell us the answer. <laughs> this is a shambles, isn't it? Come on, keep going. Go keep on. on. He always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. P. <laughs> and you don't know you the don't answer? You don't know that is? It'll, I'm sure it'll come to me once I see it on email. If, uh, what do you mean? If, once they get it, you'll agree with them? I'll know if it's the one I had down as the answer. This is brilliant. Come Imagine on, Jeremy Paxman doing that again. Yeah, University what, Times. Is that right? <laughs> Go on. Right, so uh, that's give that us, one. Give us that one again. Um, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. P. But you're confused. I don't understand how you can be confused. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the, the final third, one? The third one, uh, oh. I'll have to put that woman in the oven. And that's A, B. All right, quickly give us them again. Right, so the first one, don't argue with him, he ain't, he ain't gonna change his mind. That's A, A. Um, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. That's P. And, um, I'll have to put that woman in the oven. A, B. All right. So the answers to this week's Rockbusters. Yeah, yeah. Can you give us the clues uh, again in the answers? Yeah. Uh, the first one was, um, don't argue with him. He ain't gonna change his mind. The initials there were A, A. That's adamant. Adamant. Yeah. All right. That's, That's good. That's, That's good. a good one. Uh, second one, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. Uh, that was P. Uh, that was Picks His. Right. <laughs> picks His. Picks His. It kind of works, yeah. <laughs> and the, uh, third one... I'll oh, have well, to, I'll let uh, you have that one. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to put that woman in an oven. That was AB. That was Anita Baker. <laughs> Anita Baker. <laughs> it's good. Anita Baker. Anita yeah, Baker. I'll let you have all three today. Okay, right, do the clues quickly. Tell them we're, it'll be a rollover, so we have to do three new ones. Do you not write these You're down, such Carl? A t I, don't, I don't write the answers down in case Ricky looks over the thing and sees the answer. Why would I cheat? I'd rather you do something right with your life. Right, well, the clues were I've got three other jumpers like this one. Yeah. That was FT. Yeah. They got that. Four tops. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Good, well done. That bunch of people can't make up their minds if they'd want to sit in the sun or not. That was C, they were getting that. That was charlatans. 
Charlatan, right? A bunch of them charlatans, right? What? 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 <laughs> what's sha What's Charlie? No, no. Sha it's like shall I go out? Shall we? Charla? Charlatans? They got it, right? <laughs> Where I went wrong with this one? Uh, the Jamaican fella, he had to have some aspirin. Why? Um, it's my fault. You know, I'm not. I'm not. Cutting, there's no point passing the book or anything. Um, I said FD. A lot of people were saying. Uh, Fred Durst, like f four Ed Ertz, which is a good <laughs> one. Yeah, which would have been as good as any of yours. But I made an error, so we'll roll it over. No, 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 no. What is the answer? We'll roll, we'll roll what the what is the answer? Over. Jamaican fella, what? Add some aspirin. Why do that? What's the What's the thing? FP. FP. It was Frida Payne. <laughs> Frida Payne. Frida Payne. Frida Payne. Frida Payne. That's awful. Can't. You've got to write these down next week. This is I'm, right. I'm sorry, you are, right. Uh, you're I, the producer. I, I know, I know, but I've had a busy week, haven't I? That's doing not stuff an the... excuse. That isn't an excuse. Our excuse is we don't. We have. We don't care. <laughs> yeah. You, you do put care. the work in and you, then make a mistake. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, I mean, it's better not to try than try your hardest and be rubbish. <laughs> do you see what the point? We've got. We don't care. But you've got standards. Yeah. And, and you're, you're not meeting them. You're for Think of that. You're not even reaching your standards. God. Let's chill out album ever, the best day of time, volume two. Brilliant. And of course, for all our fans, Doctor Who, the Aztecs. That's on DVD and that's uh, one of the William Hartnell <laughs> Doctor Who. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that's the worst impression I've ever heard. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, three, three, uh, cryptic stuff. Oh, come on. Right, Rodney, you're so embarrassed. Three, I, I can't do it. No, come on! Right, three, three, uh, cryptic, um, clues. <laughs> Some of which may be wrong. <laughs> yeah, and uh, don't take the letters literally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, go um, on. And some initials and it makes up a, uh, makes up a band. So, um, <laughs> here we go then. Uh, there's three of them. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Yep. Right, here we go then. Yep. Uh, number one. Uh, <laughs> the weather stinks, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the weather stinks, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, that's R. That's R. Right. The weather stinks, doesn't it? Yeah. Second one. Um, Look, Grant, just get on the boat and help us out. <laughs> Alright, give us that again. Look, Grant, just get on the boat and help us out. Look, Grant, just get on the boat and help us out. What's yeah. the initial? R again. R again, interesting. Yeah. And then the third one, uh, <laughs> if you're gonna do that with your drink, I'd let it settle for a bit before you open it. CK. CK. Alright, so, so quickly, all the way through then. Number one, uh, the weather stinks, doesn't it? That's <laughs> R. Uh, look, Grant, just get on the boat and help us out, will you? That's R as well. And then the last one, if you're gonna do that to your drink, I'd let it settle for a bit before you open it. C-K. Ricky.Gervais at xfm.co.uk. Brilliant. Right, first one. Uh, the weather stinks, doesn't it? Yeah. That was R, which was rainbow. Right. Rainbow? Like, like rain is the weather and it smells like bow. Bow? bow? Body odor. They no, it's B-O. It's B-O. That's B-O-W. It's B -O. B -O. Well, yeah, but you've got a play It's not pronounced bow, and it's not spout bow. Um... Who calls it bow? Everyone knows it's B-O. Um... <laughs> what, you don't care? You don't care that that doesn't work? Well, they got it, so again, as long as they getting it... One person got it, Carl. One person got it. Of all the emails, one person got it. Um, second one. Uh, look, Gran, just get on the boat, will you, and help us out. Go on. That was R. That was Ronan. Ronan, right? Ronan, who's Ronan? <laughs> Ronan. Ronan? Who's Ronan? Ronan? Ronan Keaton. But he's known well, as Ronan Keaton. Keaton. No, it's not. No, it's not anymore though. He's gone on, on his own, hasn't he? He's just known as Ronan. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's, not. he's Ronan Keaton. He's always been known as Ronan Keaton. All right. Um, <laughs> so that doesn't work either. Go on. Third one. <laughs> Next. Uh, if you're going to do that to your drink, I'd let it settle for a little bit before you open it. That was CK. What? Shake a can. Shake a can. If you're going to shake, <laughs> you can. This is the worst competition ever. So <laughs> it's Chaka. Have, have you got? A it's winner? Chaka. It's Chaka. It's Chaka Khan. Shake a Khan. No, Chaka Khan. What you got? Chaka Khan might have worked. Is, to who, throw a can. Who got all three right then? Well, 
Well, because basically what happened was people we're just emailed this. in three guesses. We're stopping and this. The, and the guesses that were right came from Mandy Thompson. Well, this is what I'm thinking, right? Because we can, if, you, if you're not happy with Rockbusters, if we add a little bit to it and they love the bit I've added, then we can slowly fade it out without them knowing. That's it. Do two of your Rockbusters and and one of these. Right. Are these Come the prizes, Carl? They're the prizes. Well, let's do the prizes. Let's quickly go through them then. <laughs> yeah. All right, what we got here? Let's speed this up because I'm dropping off now. Yeah, I think it's, like, it's either warm in here or, or this isn't the most scintillating conversation we've ever had. Okay, first thing, there's a CD here. It's uh, tracks that were sampled by <laughs> uh, various artists, including Jay Z, Happy Mondays, and so on. It's the original versions. That might mm. be quite good fun. Sure. I love you. Let me see. It's a number of love songs. Yeah. You've got uh, Blue featuring Elton John on there. Yeah. Chicago. Yeah. Nat King Cole. Some yeah. Great, so I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Retro Dance Masters. Oh, yeah. That's another CD. Dance tracks, yeah. obviously, on there. Oh, it's still knocking about the best. Best Air Guitar Volume 2. Sure. Rubbish. Uh, this is quite good though. It's Paul Whitehouse's uh, TV show Happiness. That's the first series on DVD. Uh, we've also got Stephen Polyakov's The Lost Prince. You can have that in your collection. Probably never watch it, but it might look like you're slightly classy and arty. And so uh, subtitles. <laughs> the best one hit wonders album in the world ever. You've got stuff on there like uh, Nana, 99 Red Balloons, yeah. and uh, M's Pop Music. So, not oh, that yeah. bad a selection actually this week. He's Cut out some of the chaff. Right. Yeah, okay. Sorry, right, we here we right. go. Rockbusters. Rockbusters, first one. Uh, we'll do two of these and I'll play something in a minute. Right, uh, first one. Um, the Australian picks two blokes. What? The Australian picks two blokes. The Australian picks two blokes. The initial? Yeah, the initial E. Right. And the second one. That builder's a bit. I've got that already. It's annoying. <laughs> okay. that, that builder is a bit cute. He's a bit cute. Yeah. All right. And that's B T. BT. BT. That builder's a bit cute. Yeah. And the Australian picks two blokes E. And then what I'm gonna do now is play some sound effects that make up a song and you've got to guess what the song is. Go on then, right? just do it and song then it's on the Here summer. we go, here we go. <laughs> There you go. So what song's that? It's yeah. sort of an XFM type okay, song. Okay, well that's great. Email so, so the first, only. Sorry, I should just clarify that the first two are uh, band names or artist names, but that's the title of the track that we want there. Yeah, that's okay. right. It's that's so right. confusing. No one's ever going to figure this out. They will though, they will. Alright, um... First one was, um... The Australian Picks Two Blokes. Uh, the initial was E. The answer there. Eminem. <laughs> M&M. <-M. laughs> Alright, the second one. Um, <laughs> that builder is a bit cute. The initials there were BT. That was Bonnie Tyler. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then we introduced a new bit to the show. Um, that song sounds alright. These were the effects you heard. <laughs> and uh, that was Prodigy. Smack my bitch up. Who are you punching there? And could I just say, no animal was harmed in the taping of that.